with mink. All you have to do is get a look at those teeth and you know there are hazards with mink. Dr. Dick Allrich, animal science professor at Michigan State. Uh, you work with the mink farm here and the mink research. What would happen if I, if I gave that mink a little kiss right on the nose? Well, I suspect he would bite you. They, Probably uh, tear my whole head off. Very unfriendly animals. And, uh, how, how long have they been breeding mink? Well, mink, uh, the first mink farms were established in 1860 some, but uh, mm. the mink was more of a fashion curiosity than the status symbol that, that we know mink today. They never did breed the temperament out of uh, them? No, not after many, many generations. They're still a very unsociable uh, animal. Oh. He's just huffing and puffing here and chewing on that glove. Mm. Mean looking critter. Well, Dr. Roland Baker, good having you down here. You're the good to see you again. Many years the director of uh, the Museum at Michigan State and the mammologist. How about giving us a little rundown on wild mink in Michigan? Well, I have, have here, uh, I hate to show a, a, <laughs> an, un, an unlive mink for you, but a mounted one. Mm -hmm. But they, the mink is a very characteristic mammal of our Michigan outdoors. And, um, as, as we, we know now with the uh, mink farms, I think our mink are getting a little bit of break from the trappers now. Mm -hmm. that now that uh, the, the mink farms are going, the, the wild mink are not, not trappers heavy as they were 20, 30 years ago. And so they... they well, mink, mink have quite a range, don't they? I mean, they move around a lot? Uh, they do. Uh, they're, as you know, the males are bigger than the females and mm -hmm. uh, they, they occupy a larger range. But in some of these big marshes we have in Michigan, they're quite common. What do they eat? Uh, they're carnivorous. Uh, they'll eat uh, just any, about any kind of animal material from, well, birds, uh, fish, frogs, fingers, uh, insects, if get the fingers, of course. And, yeah. uh, uh, they are all, all typical mustelids, like their relatives, the otter and the skunks and the weasels and the wolverines and the badgers. And are all vicious little creatures. There is a certain air around here right now from the musk glands. This is correct. The uh, mink being a relative of the skunk has to anal scent glands and of course when they're excited as, as you can see he is now uh, puts out a little of that smell this musk and uh, it's rather unpleasant he doesn't have the aim like a skunk though well could we see the bottom side of him the mink are i don't know if you can see the stomach but they, there seems to be no top or bottom uh they have that lush fur all the way around they're just a, a, an incredible amount of that soft fur on them and short little legs are they fast runners uh, well, not extremely fast, but uh, they can dodge very quickly. I mean, mm -hmm. on a straightaway, it wouldn't be too difficult to catch a mink. But uh, where, where would a person go in Michigan, Dr. Baker, to see a mink in the wild? Well, you'd, you'd have to be you'd have to be sort of a very watchful and perhaps stealthful person. Maybe take a like a deer deer hunter on a deer stand and watch along an open water area or in a marsh, mm -hmm. and sometimes they appear, but they're mostly nocturnal. But if you do see them, they're going to be typically uh, uh, weasel-like in their in their gait. They you know what? It, how an inchworm moves mm -hmm. along? Well, these hump along as they, yeah, they, they got the real short legs, as, as Dr. Allred showed you there, and they, they kind of, and long, that long chassis, you might say, mm -hmm. and, and they, they hump along. What would happen if you let him go? I'm, uh, don't let him go, but what would happen? What would he do? Would he attack? Oh, I, I don't think so. He would probably try to uh, get as far from us as he could, but if cornered, uh, then he would defend himself. He would be vicious. Wow, the mink. Uh, is this a valuable animal in Michigan? Uh, yes, we have about uh, 50 commercial fur farms in the state, and uh, the 130 some thousand pelts produced generate about oh, around $5 million uh, income for the mink ranchers. Well, that's the story on the mink here from Michigan State University. Fantastic. Now, you deer hunters might be able to see a mink, like Dr. Baker said, if you're very quiet, you sit in the woods. That's also going to be the best way for your best chances of getting a deer on opening day. Here's